good morning good morning everybody from youtube hope you all having an amazing day guys if you guys could tell i don't know if you guys could tell a lot but uh i did start joining the gym guys i went i started going to the gym on um which was this past monday which was yesterday today's my second day guys feeling hella good uh let me tell you guys i never thought i was gonna be motivated to come to the gym but for some reason when you start sweating you start looking at the environment, other people sweating, other people's um, body shapes. You could say, like, some people are built, guys. You're like, damn, I want to look like that one day. You know, you feel me? Um, I swear to God, I thought I wasn't going to get up. Um, thankfully, I've been getting up at, at 530, getting at the gym at 6, hitting it for a full hour. Just straight cardio, guys, straight cardio. Um, and I, I I feel amazing, guys, to be honest. Um, I'm sweating off all this junk that I have on, on my body. Um I did take some pictures before and after. So like say I'm not gonna do that video now, but say like in about two months, you guys are gonna see my body before and what has changed in three months after that I have been coming to the gym. Um also guys I have been um cutting off a lot of stuff that I've been eating, like um bread, that's a big one. Um I and tortillas, um uh, what else? Just soda in general, guys, soda, sugary drinks. Um, no more Starbucks. If I want anything like that, I'll have to go like to like a juicery or like, um, you know, Movita, Motiva, whatever it's called, Jamba Juice, stuff like that, guys. Um, coffees, I'm always going to be sticking to my coffee, guys. Uh, McDonald's coffee is always the best. But um, if I have to do like a shortcut or if I'm in the street and I want something to eat, there's other there's other healthier options for myself. Like um, I have to put it in my head. Subway, Wobble Grill, Yoshinoya, um, stuff like that, you know. Um, Sometimes I try to take the cheap route and uh, go to McDonald's real quick, Jack in the Box, Burger King, but enough of that, guys. Yeah, i seen what I'm capable of. If if you put something in your head, guys, you could do it, man. Um, I never thought that I'll be coming to the gym, waking, waking up at 5, 5, 5 o'clock in the morning just to get over here. You know, it's crazy. The gym that I am attending, it's out here in Compton, guys. Um, I'm not going to say which one, but yeah, I am coming to a gym here in Compton. There's a lot of gyms in Compton. There's um 24 there's planet there's um 24 i don't know, choose i don't know what it is but yeah there's like three four gyms here in, in, in compton guys but uh like i'm telling you guys i i, I do feel great um uh it, it, I, I think it was that time guys i think it was time for me to hit the gym um uh, right now especially that i'm not working you know i'm just doing my party rental business but it's still like uh how can i tell you guys it's still kind of like I don't know. I feel weird coming to the gym because I never thought I'd be coming. But either way, guys, I just want to go ahead and up you guys, update you guys on what I was doing, what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm going to the gym. You guys could tell I did get a fresh cut yesterday. Thanks to my boy and my ben, my barber, my boy Benny B cuts. Um, yesterday he had go, he had to go do a demo at uh, Master Academy Cosmetology School, barbering school. Um, he did need a demo, and I had my haircut appointment on Wednesday, which is tomorrow. And he was like, "Hey, Junior, you want to come?" And like me and Benny, we're, pfft, I've been cutting my hair with Benny since, ooh, since this was started cutting at his house for five bucks. So I've been cutting my hair with Benny and I'm so far so good. I mean, sometimes he messes with my hairlines, but it's all, it's all grave in the hood, you know? Damn, me don't get ahorita, huh? <laughs> but yeah, guys, um, <clears throat> I do come with my AirPods. Yeah, these are old ass AirPods, but hey, who cares? They're right now low battery. Um, yesterday I went to Panera. And got me an iced tea. They gave me some Splenda. I'm like, I don't want no fucking Splenda, man. You know? Zero calorie sweetener. I just got me that raw sugar, guys. You know? Oh, Chipotle is another good good spot to go eat. But yeah, guys. So right now, basically, ahorita ya lo vamos para la casa. We're going to go home. And um, so today is Tuesday. Today's my day to start cleaning the unit. So today I'm going to put up my water slides. I'm going to put up um, some castle jumpers. I'm going to put up everything that I could do before 2 o'clock. I'm dying, god damn. Everything I can do before two o'clock. Hold on. Cut nice one. But yeah, god damn, I was already choking on myself. <sighs> damn, I'm tired, man. And the thing is I've been doing just cardio. But enough of the gym thing, man. I'm I'm excited. You guys can tell I'm excited to come to the gym, guys. But um also I did meet my boy again, um Ismail J. I was over there at Vargas Tires, I think it's called, in the city of Compton, because my cunha had called me, right? Story time. So, um, you could say, uh, 
I was chilling at my suegra's house. So my suegra had done some some done some food or right? somebody's birthday, whatever the fuck it was. So uh my cuñada ended up calling my other cuñada, like, hey, I caught a flat tire. And I was like, oh shit. So I mean me being the only boy there, um they were like, Oh, where did you catch it at? She caught she caught her here in the city of um, Compton. So here I go with my other cuñada. We both were going towards Compton, speeding, because you just never know because she's pregnant. So we're going speeding. And um, I get there, I see her tire. She had a big ass freaking now. So I was like, hey, hop off, let me go ahead and fix it. Boom, fixed it, took out the tire, replaced it with the repair, with the replacement tire that they have in the back. And then after we took off looking for a damn Yantera, a, a tire shop. And uh, we found one, but she was kind of far. So I was like, hey, you know something? This fool is my was always shouting out this Yantera. Let's go to it. Boom. So we went, we went to it and uh, how it's it's weird because I was talking to the Yantero, to the guy who's going to change the tire. I was like, oh yeah, I seen you guys on YouTube. You know, he was like, from who? I'm like, Ismael. He was like, oh, what the hell? I'm like, yeah, so I'm over here, you know. He's like, what's your name? I'm like, well, I'm Junior. He was like, okay, cool, 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 cool. And like five minutes later, my boy Ismael, Jay, go ahead. He called my, he calls the guy that's changing my tire. He's like, hey, look, you were just talking about this for I'm like, yeah, why, what's up? He's like, no, no, se morir pronto este cabrón. I'm like, oh, cool. He's like, oh, he's about to pull up. So once he pulls up, I see him. I'm like, oh, there he goes. He was with that fuero. And uh, yeah, guys, I was like, hey, what's up, my boy? He was like, uh, like he knew who I was, but he's just like, uh, like, I guess he fucking, I don't know. He'd be on some shit. Like, I think, nah, I don't know. But uh, he was like, oh, what's up, fool? I'm like, hey, what's up, dog? He was like, oh, you remember me, huh? He was like, uh, uh, I, I kind of do. I'm like, yeah, I'm the one that brought the horses to your kids. Oh, yeah, what's up, my boys? Just, we were just chilling. And after we were just talking, making fun of Wero. And, uh, yeah, it was all good. You know, it was all gravy, guys. Like, I'm telling you guys, I don't put videos like me meeting this person, me meeting that person. Because it's kind of awkward, you know. Um, just know that I want to collaborate with other people, um, other YouTubers, other this, other that. But it's going to take time for that. Because I still haven't put my name out there like that. But I have collaborated with Soraida. If you guys know Soraida, big TikTok, big TikToker, um, Ismael J. Um, I was gonna do a collab with these fools, but uh, it never happened because they're kind of too far from me, guys. They're up in the valley. I was like, nah, I'm not going out there. Um, but yeah, guys, like I'm telling you guys, um, it's good to network with different um, YouTubers and collaborate with them, guys, because um, you know that's the only way you're gonna get your name out there and get your name like you know kind of big. I wish that fool Jimmy and Wilde hits me up. One day, like, hey, because I know he rents from my boy Aliana's party rental. But shit, I'm right here in South, in, in South LA, you know? Could just <laughs> call me up to bring something to his warehouse right there in Paramount and we out there. But guys, enough of that. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, close this video off from right here from where I'm at, at, at the gym. And um, yeah, so right now we're going to get head home. I'll probably go get like a juice or something because I mean, I don't even feel like eating, you know? I and mean, just water's like, ah, why? But uh, yeah. Either way, I'm confused myself of what the hell I talked to on, on the video. But um, yeah, we're going to get head home. And today's clean day. Like I told you guys already, we're going to go ahead and clean our units. Also, guys, the only thing that I hate about coming to the gym, and it's always in the back of my head, is they're going to steal my truck. This truck that I'm driving to the gym every day is the 2005 GMC Yukon. These trucks, they love to steal for the parts and all this type of other crap, man. It is a 5.3 V8, I think it is. I think it's 5.3. Um, V8 motor, so they'll take off this motor and like, papitas, you know. But, um, I don't want to take, I don't want to bring out my Silverado because I know my Silverado, me la llevan de like this. But, guys, another reason why I came to the gym was because, um, I might, I don't know if I am, but I might end up getting married, guys. I might end up getting married soon, and it's like, okay, um, uh, I don't want to look like a big ass ball up there, you know. Mira esa bola de grasa, nice man. You know, I just want to get slim, guys, because uh, sometimes I'll be looking at the at clothes. I'll be like, man, I wish I could wear that. But I'll be like, nah, I'm not, I will not look like this fucking mannequin, you know? And sorry, excuse the language, guys. It's just that it, 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 it's true. You know, um, I just want to, I just want to, I'm, I'm not saying I'm going to be, I'm, I'm trying to be like buff. I'm just trying to slim down, guys, how I was back in 2011, 2012, 2013. Yeah, after when I started having my kids, McDonald's f my body up, guys. Chuck E. Cheese, Jack in the Box, everything messed me up, man. But, man, you live and you learn, guys, you know. Um, we're here for one life. Let's enjoy it. Let's try to take care of ourselves.
just try to stay healthy and um i'm gonna just bring you guys along this journey guys um a ver como me va. hopefully i don't quit the, on the first week but so far so good guys i'm telling you i'm all like i'm all nike out if you guys could tell nike i have nike undershorts nike shorts nike socks nike shoes i have a, a whole wardrobe of damn nike I'm just that type of person that I like matching. Like if I'm gonna go somewhere, I like matching. Like if I'm gonna wear Under Armour, I'm gonna wear Under Armour everything. If I'm gonna wear Pumas, Adidas, I wanna wear Pumas, Adidas, everything. I don't like mix matching brands. I, I've never been like that. Uh, if I'm gonna wear Champion, I'm gonna wear Champion everything. If I'm gonna wear American Eagle, I'm gonna wear American Eagle everything except for the shoes. But um, yeah, guys, I'm telling you, I don't know. I've, I've always been like that growing up. Um, but let's head home and let's see what we get ourselves into. But to be honest, like I'm telling you guys, I'll probably go to Jamba Juice real quick. I'm going to see if I can find a Jamba Juice around here in the city of Compton. If they're open or like a juicery. Just to drink like a green juice or, you know, something to detox myself. Yesterday, I did go to the Root of Life out there in Huntington Park. I got some shit called charcoal. I don't charcoal. I don't know what the hell. Charcoal this, charcoal that. Charcoal something. That crap detoxed the crap out of me. I was scared because that juice is like black green dark green i don't know but it had chia seeds it had this it had that uh and man was i in the shitter real quick but also guys i am gonna go ahead and fix my teeth i do have a gap right here in between my teeth um i do have like four cavities god damn i feel like a little kid again so i am gonna end up get, getting my teeth fixed i'm not getting no veneers guys but i, I wish i could but i don't want to look like a damn donkey neither um yeah, I'm, I'm, I am going to end up getting braces too. So I have a lot of stuff to do. But thankfully, we're alive. Thankfully, we're he healthy. We're getting healthy. And um, I'm here making cool content for you guys. So follow us back home, guys. And But first, let's go to a juice ring. <laughs> well, guys, I know you guys were, were expecting to basically, um, how can I tell you guys, see what the video prior that I was recording um you know, my my day in life or whatever. But um guys, something happened. I guess uh I wasn't aware of it. But something did happen, guys, that specific night. Well morning that I went to the gym. Um Yeah man, so long story short guys, when I was doing the video that you guys just previous previously watched, somebody broke into my truck. Um I wasn't aware of it. It was still dark, as you guys could see. It was still dark. Uh, I don't know. Um, I guess they caught me slipping. And I said I was never going to get caught slipping. Um, so, I guess once I walked into the gym, guys, I was looking... Well, before... Let's backtrack. So, before I walked into that gym, guys, for these damn fucking AirPods that have fell in my Yukon, for these this little AirPod thing... When I had braked, they fell, okay? So, me, at the gym, I was looking for them. I was looking for them. And um, I found them. So, when I found them, I, I I was opening them still, putting them in my ear, and I was putting the type of music I was going to hear. But, um, I did that. I had my wallet in the front. Okay, I had my wallet inside the truck. I grabbed my wallet, reached back on my Yukon, put it in the back pocket of the passenger seat, right? I put it there. I was all cool. I grabbed my keys, grabbed my AirPods, Mamanos, hopped off, locked my car and walked inside the gym. I don't know if this fucking guy, guys, or this motherfucker, man, was sitting in front of me somewhere, looking at me, doing what I was doing. Pero... Yeah, man, this motherfucker broke into my car, man. He broke into my car. He did a little hole right where the key opens the damn door. And fuck, like, I, I, I would never expect it, guys. I was never expecting that shit, you know? Um, but the funny part was that um, I didn't find out until, like, six hours after. Um, yeah, it's sad because in that, in that wallet, I had my credit cards, Visa cards, debit cards. I had my social driver's license my gun permit my um um my guard card my dot card my um forklift certificate i had a renewal for a firearm that i was gonna buy I'll, i am in the in the process of buying an ar-15 556 
which I had that receipt inside. I think it's a Ruger A5, um, AR556. I had that receipt in there. But um, yeah, I mean, it's, it is what it is, guys. You know, I've done my during the past. It's bien. Like, you know, what goes around comes around. Basically, I got to accept it. You know, I got to accept it. But guys, I'm going to show you guys what this mother sucker did, how he did it. And um, yeah, it's just, I'm amazed. I'm amazed, guys. And um, But I mean, hey, it is what it is. Like, like I told my girl, like, it is what it is. You know, I've done some shady shit in the past. It just had to come back and bite me in the ass. But it's all good, man, you know. Um, the good thing is that I think he grabbed my wallet, grabbed like the money that I have in my wallet, just grabbed it and tossed my wallet somewhere or burned it or did something to it or threw it in the trash because they haven't ran my social. They haven't, um, they haven't tried purchasing anything. Um, even, even though I have all my cards blocked already, but my social is the biggest thing that they could, you know, target because they have my, uh, driver license and they have my social. So maybe they could go and apply for shit. But other than that, it's like, uh, it, it, it's whatever's. Um, but yeah, guys, you know, things happen, you know, stop in, you know, like, um, hopefully that money that I had in my wallet helped them in some way, some form, but you know, it is what it is, guys. I'm, I'm not, I'm not mad at him, you know, uh, it was just my time, you could say. It was just my time, and um, now I just got to be more aware of my surroundings. So, uh, yeah, either way, guys, like I said, uh, I am going to go ahead into my nearest sheriff's department. And I am going to start um, doing the process. I have a clean background. I have everything clean. That's the reason why I purchased firearms. But um, I think I'm going to go in for my CCA or my CCW. CCA, what the fuck? For my CCW, um, I do want to go ahead and carry my firearm with me at all times. Right now, that right here in South LA, Watts, Compton, um, Southgate, uh, Englewood. There's a bunch of people getting robbed, guys. All I see on my Citizens app is person got robbed at gunpoint this and that this and that you could never be so like you know safe especially i'm always with my kids i always have cash on me but now i'm, I'm gonna remember just to get my phones i'm gonna get my phone and just put like all my um apple pay all the e i don't know what the hell it's called but um you guys get the point i'm gonna have all my cards on my cell phone guys i'm not gonna have my actual cell phone or oh, well, my actual wallet everything's gonna be electronic now if i have cash probably gonna only carry like under 20 bucks but uh yeah man especially I, i'm always with my chain outside i'm always like this no matter where i go i'm always on my chain like this everywhere i go but that has to stop también because it's like damn homie they finally got me I mean, i've been waiting so long and i always say if they ever give me i'm gonna be ready you just never ready guys fuck it you know but um yeah let me go ahead and show you guys how the hell they went inside my car all right let's go let's see <laughs> before i show you guys what's going on over there I want to show you guys that I am cleaning my jumper on a Monday because we do have it rented tomorrow on Halloween at a church in Signal Hill by Long Beach. So there goes that. I'm already done with it. Uh, but yeah, let me go ahead and walk over here and show you guys what they did to my truck. So me coming into my truck in the morning, boom, up to my truck, right? Boom. But that's how they got into my truck. I don't know how the hell he did it, but it is what it is. So basically I have my wallet in the back of that seat. And I think he's seen when I put it in the back of that seat, everything was still here. My suave, everything. I, I had another card right here. This is the police report that I have right here. I'll show you guys. Police report. You know, I'm not gonna show you guys a lot, but that's the police report that I have. Um, but yeah, fucker got me, man. He didn't take nothing else except for my wallet. That's all he wanted to come in here for. I have my kids' seat, car chair, more car chairs, and all types of stuff. Ah, but it is what it is. Right now, I gotta get my this whatever the hell it's called. I gotta get it fixed again. Uh, but yeah, uh, it is what it is. Let me show you guys what. This is my 17 foot water slide. I already dried out. Um, this is my monster truck. This is all the stuff that I have rented out this weekend. The girl 13 by 13, chairs, tables, kids' tables. I also did go ahead and bought them little kids' chairs as well. Let me show you guys inside my store. It's a mess, but hey, I'm gonna fix it sooner or later. So, comfy, kids' chairs, and all types of colors. 
blue, red, yellow. I have white. The white's right there. White. But yeah, I have a big mess in here. My round tables. This is all my cuñadas. Because we are going to throw a party in two weeks for her baby shower. But guys, it is what it is. And look at me. I had this car parked outside too today. But look, <laughs> this is why I get myself broken into. <laughs> I have it in plain sight like a dummy. But yeah, this one is, is going like the same way as well. They can do the same thing for, to this one. Yeah, but I'm going to be more aware of my surroundings now. So you guys can tell the pressure washers out. All the extensions, the two blowers that I need right now. But... All right, let me go back on. You guys already seen how I have my stuff, my money still right there on the dashboard. But yeah, guys, so Compton, Planet Fitness, um, I, I reached out to them. I told them what went on, and um, they basically said they can't do nothing about it, um, that they didn't, they, they don't have cameras, this and that. Whatever. I'm not really tripping. Uh, but I did go ahead and cancel my membership, guys. I am going to start going to 24-Hour Fitness or LA Fitness, but I think it's 24 that I'm going to go to because, man. Eh, it's a little bit more farther out and i feel like it's safer <sighs> but um yeah that happened to me guys that's why i didn't continue that specific video that i was going to do that specific day but um everything happens for a reason guys it is what it is um just gotta keep pushing and um hopefully that guy that stole my wallet hopefully that money that i had in there helped you out a lot bro hey you got lucky this time but um <sighs> If I were to catch that motherfucker, I'm telling you, man, I would have fucking put two bullets in his ass. But, um, yeah, I don't know what to do no more. I'm just going to go ahead, cut the video off right here, guys. Uh, I'll keep doing some content for you guys in a bit. Just, um, I got to get my stuff together. I got to go get my social. got to get my driver's license. got to go back to the gun place where I go get my guns at, my permit. I got to go call BSIS Sacramento, see if I can get my uh, guard card back, uh, back again. Uh, my DOT basically that's basically I just need to go somewhere where I got it that specific place and say hey I got my DOT stolen is either gonna do me another DOT test or they're gonna recertify me give me another card or well, I don't know how that works but um, hey everything's replaceable the only thing that hurts me is my social good thing I didn't have no pictures of my kids because I would have been pissed off but guys hey sooner or later he's gonna come out and uh, I'm not saying I'm gonna do something stupid but just beware. Just beware. Because everything what goes around comes around. Remember that. All right, guys. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.